Hi, it's Jim, the Iowa Tesla guy. Welcome back to the channel. I've been waiting for a snowfall so I could do this video, and I have one. We have a little bit of snow on the ground, which will be enough to demonstrate what I want to talk about. But a lot of people are wondering in winter climates, how do you deal with the snow? Do I need to do a different profile on the car? Do I need to switch to a different region? Do I have to switch to chill mode? What about hold stop? Is that going to be a problem? But I'm here to tell you that the short version is you don't need to do anything. So let me show you. So on my car, I have the standard settings. Those settings are standard acceleration, standard steering. I have slip start off and there's snow on the ground. And the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull out here and what happens when you just floor it? Here we go. It goes and it goes as fast as the car will let it go it will not spin the tires the slip start allows you to kind of get out of some situations but generally I don't turn it on you want to go punch it and it goes as fast as it will let you go now what about region well I'm getting ready to come up to a big hill and hopefully it's snow covered and are you concerned what regen kicks in? Is regen going to cause the car to slide? Well, let's see what happens. I'm gonna let off and it keeps on going. I'm even in a bit of a turn. Let's get up to some speed. And we're going to hit the top of this hill. We're gonna let off. And it just starts to slow down as fast as it will let it slow down. Sometimes you'll feel a slight slip just a brief second slip where it feels like, oh, I'm sliding, but no, and then it lets off. And the software understands in the car that you're on a slippery road, and even if the regen is set to max, and if you've got a car that was built after the fall of 2020, which mine is, then you don't have settings for regen. It's just full regen, full all the time. So. Don't worry about it. Let off the gas, gas. Let off the accelerator pedal and the car will do its thing. Now what about hold stop? People are concerned about hold stop. Well, hold stop isn't anything magical. All it does, you set your foot lightly on the pedal of the brake. When you come to a stop, it will actually automatically apply the brake for you. And that's all it does. That's all hold stop does is apply the brake when you're stopped so you don't have to and I leave it on all the time and it shouldn't be a problem in the snow if you're on a hill uh, anything like that just forget about it and you're all good so another question you might have which is okay so the regen is doing its thing and it's not engaging in the snow so how do I stop well Fortunately, in the winter time, you gotta use those brakes. One pedal driving pretty much disappears when it gets super cold, um, and you gotta use those brakes. And does a Tesla stop any differently than an ICE car? The answer is no, because the Teslas still follow the laws of physics, just like every other car. And Teslas generally are heavier than other cars, so you gotta be a little careful when you're stopping something this large on snow, and car is only letting it stop as fast as it can with anti-lock brakes so just like with any winter driving car you got to be aware of your vehicle and the distances it takes to stop but you don't need to worry about how the region is going to cause things to go badly for you it's it the region is going to take what it needs based on the friction of the road and you got to use the foot pedal for the rest of it We're in a rural road, and this is an uphill road. And just as a check, I'm going to speed up. I'm going to let off. I'm slowing down as much as the regen will let me. Coming to a complete stop, uphill. I'm going to go ahead and just floor it and see what happens. The car was a little loose. You can tell that it was slipping just a tad but it wasn't going any faster than it could possibly go at that moment in time. 
So, it's doing its thing. Let's try it one more time. Step on it. Can I steer? Still steer. It's a little loose, but it's not, it's going whatever it can do. So, try it again. Floor it. Feel it kind of moving. But this car is a beast in the wintertime, from what I can tell. I don't, I, for the, for the record, I have standard Gemini factory wheels and tires, so nothing aftermarket, no snow tires. So, the last thing I want to show you is, can you get a car to slide around a turn? And in a gas car that doesn't have any sort of active braking, it's pretty easy. And a Tesla, let's see what you can do. Floor it. And yes, you can get it to slide a little bit, but I can tell you it's difficult to probably see in the video or hear the video, but the wheels were actively braking. I could feel the right back wheel brake. I could feel the left back wheel brake. I could feel it trying to straighten the car out actively, and it was doing it rather aggressively as much as it could based on the conditions of the road. So chill and standard. Um, should I switch to standard or should I switch to chill in winter? In my opinion, leave it where you normally leave it and you'll be fine. The software of the car is smart enough to know what it needs to do. And it, in my experience over the last 14 months of ownership of this Model Y, it does the right thing. So winter driving with regen, stops, uh, profiles, don't worry about it. Just drive your car. In my opinion, you don't need to do anything special. So that's my take on basic winter driving in the snow in a Tesla. Um, if you like this video, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. We got new content coming out all the time. So until the next video, catch you later.